Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekend reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you're new. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. You can also join my channel for $2.99 per month. So do consider joining. All right, we're going to take a look at your weekend. February 16th through the 18th, you're already starting off with a sunshine card. Let's take a look and see what... Okay, you've got luck. And these are my lunar new year uh fortune telling cards so i've had these for quite some time but once in a while i like to break them out and you have reinvent yourself wow i'm liking how this weekend is looking let me get a little bit more light here on the table okay so you're starting what the heck hold on hold on hold the phone okay things are going so well <laughs> There we go. All right, so you're starting with sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and blessings. I'm um, sorry, business. Blessings too. Growth, fabulous communication and relationships beginning on Friday. Saturday you have, ooh, luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Favor. Excellent time for networking. We like that. And Sunday, reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Wow. Some of you are getting some good news on Sunday about your health. Um, or over the weekend. Now, let me just give you a caveat. So I do have these kind of formatted for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But just keep in mind that these could be fluid and change at any time. And everything, you know, Friday's energy could happen on Saturday. And, you know, it could all shift and change. All right, first couple of cards out of the deck <laughs> for the sunshine card. So you have the Knight of Cups and you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Fabulous communication and relationships. So if you're looking for love or you're wanting love, and um, yeah, that might be happening. You could be connecting with a sibling, uh, you and your sibling. I'm hearing on Friday could be um, apologizing to each other. Uh, love comes in. Be, you know not romantic obviously this is like for some of you this is sibling uh if you had some kind of rivalry or an issue with a brother or a sister friday it looks like you guys um maybe you work together maybe you guys like have a you work family business of some sort um there, it's good it's good it's good it looks like you guys are going to reconcile um and have like this you know uh oh, bygones be bygones and forgiveness and happiness and joys as the sunshine is a very happy joyous energy okay um and fabulous darling fabulous so i kind of feel like too um some it could, for somebody there's someone um from your past and wherever that past falls is uh, making a love offer a romantic love offer is coming in on friday okay so that's beautiful let's see what else is going on for friday that yes let's move these over and just focus here on friday what else is happening here on friday um and i'm also hearing like if you have a business i feel like you have some um previous clients coming or cu customers clients whichever um are are coming in um so if for business like they're calling on you for some business or something of that sort so that's that's good for business some of you might even get like um, a past job kind of situation wants you to come back so you might hear from them they make that you know that a gentle doubt like we love your work or we love what you do or what you've done here we want to bring you back in that kind of energy as well um we want to use your services utilize your services again this feels like whomever you were connecting with before you've got to be kidding some of you <laughs> yeah so the higher font let's just stick to business right now don't click off because even in love this is amazing the higher font is definitely can be is definitely can be listen to me the higher font is all about structure could be corporations um buildings uh rules and regulations that kind of thing so for some of you this does have something to do with like they're coming in because they're committed like they want you to commit or they're coming in because they're com they're committing to your business they're committing to hiring you um bringing you back if you were laid off you're coming back the opportunity comes in um 
where your clients return or a client is coming back in to utilize your services. That's good. And it's, it's going to, it's going to be a good thing. Okay. It's a good thing. Contracts being signed, but also on the love front, Virgo, 100%. Now I know yesterday's reading, you know, you, you did have engagement. We were talking about, and do go back and listen to that. Yesterday's reading for the month of February was kind of like your your energy yesterday was more or less like, you know, I'm done with this. Like, I'm not a doormat. And you cutting somebody off, not being mean, but just putting yourself first will bring you respect. So some of you do that. And then here it comes. Here comes that, you know, proposal, that love offer, that, you know, um, romantic gesture. Um with the higher font, that offer of commitment, if that's what you're wanting, or just working together, a traditionally valued type of a relationship where both parties are, you know, gonna play by the rules together. You know, every relationship has to have rules to some degree, you know, and maybe even moral type rules, you know, hey, no cheating, hey, no infidelity. Hey, no deception. Hey, no lying. You know, we, we don't tolerate that. There's no tolerance for that, right? That's out of bounds. <laughs> so somebody's, it looks like coming in to commit to playing by either your rules or just the staying within the perimeters and the boundaries of a committed relationship, making that offer. So that looks good. Now, obviously that we're talking about Friday, but that could happen Saturday over the weekend. Let me just say that over the weekend. And you also have luck. Okay. Um, also, I want to tell you for some of you, this could be a Taurus. You have a connection with a Taurus or a water sign. Okay. Now you also have luck. A sudden change of luck is likely things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Wow, Virgo, get out there and mingle. If you're single as a Pringle, get out there and mingle. Okay, you're going to have like, things are going to turn around for you. Your luck gets better. Things start working in your favor. That's that's very much a, 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 a Wheel of Fortune card for me. Things working out in your favor. That's the luck card. A gamble if you're doing any gambling or investments. Um, or uh, networking with people over the weekend. Things go in your favor if you're trying to achieve something. Let's take a look more. Okay. You might be trying to figure out <laughs> maybe on Saturday where you need to put your investments. Look at your money flow. Money goes up. Money goes down. It's an up and down. It's a little bit of a roller coaster at times. Maybe you've been on a roller coaster financially, Virgo. Um, and things kind of even keel. Like they kind of even out a little bit here. Like that's lucky for some of you where things just get neutral. You neutralize in some way um let's take a look here i like that because that to me is talking about money okay that's talking about money well, things are hanging in the balance but i feel like wow okay look some new door opens the, the door opens for you over the weekend this has a lot to do i feel like especially on saturday Maybe you look at your money, you look at your bank, you're taking a look at your finances, what the in, what's coming in and what's going out, but you're, you're looking at things kind of, I don't know, something shifts, something changes. You get it, you gain like a new financial perspective on the weekend. Maybe you figure out how to make some money or make more money um, or bring more investors in or find a different way. Um, maybe you shift up some stocks or you're, maybe you work with crypto, whatever you're doing, you shift things around on Saturday. You kind of, I feel like you kind of, I don't know, maybe you're driving in your car and you're in a long, unbelievable traffic jam that is going to take an hour for you to just get through. And so you, you look at your phone and you're like, let me check my, let me check my finances. And all of a sudden, you know, you have like ding, ding some kind of idea that opens up the door. Now you have some options here. Yeah, like there's some options, option trading. There's some options that show up that I, I like it because I feel like just by you really, I don't even know because I kind of feel like you do pay attention to your bank account. You do pay attention to this stuff, but something here, you see something a little bit different. You have like a little bit of a light bulb moment here. It could be something to do with like a stock or an investment 
or uh, something to do with like people that you're talking to or people that you fig you you find out something about someone that can be a benefit to your to your finances as people you, you might meet somebody like you know I need to start networking or like let me figure out who I'm going to talk to um, to try to make make some kind of change happen here and whomever you talk to it could be a Pisces brings this luck to you you know or you get lucky like like it's a sudden change like things change for you in your like your financial sector and so if you if you're that person that's not a big networker like if you can't get out of the house right and you're one of those people that's like you know I live in a remote area I don't there's not a lot of people around me I can't really connect or, or the people I want to connect with are like thousands of miles away and I can't see them you can network online or there's some kind of maybe group or something that you join that you become a part of that you expand because that's like a social network it could be that you expand a bit here and now you now you're like wow I, this feels to me with this two of wands you cross some kind of threshold you know and even while that person there is holding that globe that feels like um oh it could be something to do with south america connection in south america i'm hearing maybe brazil argentina like chile peru um bolivia i heard some type of con yeah for some of you it is and this this networking with these people change things for you okay it changes everything um I feel like it, that's it. They're not giving me anything else. Let me just get one more. They said just, they said get one more card here. Wow. Work it out in your favor. That's what I said. <laughs> you know, justice. This is like in your favor, like the Wheel of Fortune. I, I saw the Wheel of Fortune in my mind's eye because it's about luck. But the justice is good. This is because this is favorable outcome to you. Yes, and it could have something to do with legal, financial, taxes, legal, um, legal stuff, okay? Maybe you get a nice big fat refund and you play your luck. Maybe you do some kind of lottery or something or you're doing like, you know, gambling or whatever it is, whatever it is, you, you come across and it works out for you, okay? It works out for you. Uh, I don't condone... Um, gambling like every single day because you, you're gonna wind up losing your money <laughs> but if you're investing which someone once told me it's not gambling it's investing okay um, then uh, yeah that it, it's favorable to you it works out so all right reinvent yourself a transformation is taking place enjoy a new lease of life so like at first I was feeling that was on like the, the health front so some of you maybe recently got some good news about your health and now because of that uh, maybe you had a surgery um, or, you know, you're, you recovered from something. Now you can do the things you couldn't do before. You get like enjoying a new lease of life. You know, this is kind of like feeling young again, um, rejuvenated, especially on Sunday. Some of you go, through, you know, the, the transformation really kicks off on Sunday. Okay. Where now you're like, you're given the keys to the new house so to speak you know you've got like a like an opportunity and if it's not connected to health you have this opportunity where you get to start over and reinvent and you get this new lease of life okay let's take a look let's take a look and as always these uh weekend readings are a little bit shorter look at that there's recovery so some of you are recovering like I was saying, from a health thing, from a health thing, okay? And so, wow, this is amazing. Your, your scans come back positive. Um, something's not as bad as you thought. Uh, you might have been worried about something. There's no more worry, no more stress. This is real. You can relax, I'm hearing. Um, Whether it's about your health, whether it's about your career, whether whether it's about a relationship, 
you get the chance to start over. You get the chance, like you can, you can, I'm just hearing, tell Virgo they can relax. Everything's going to be okay. You can relax. Look, it's, yeah, because look, stop with the night, the anxiety and the worry and the overthinking negative thoughts. Yeah. You get the opportunity to reinvent yourself. Whatever that means. I don't know. For some of you, it's as simple as, you know what? You're going to get your hair done. You're doing something completely different. If you went through a breakup, some of you are like cutting your hair off. You know, you're getting like this whole new do. You're doing something. Because that Four of Swords can be like a massage, a spa. To um, Some of you, it's advice that you need to do that. <laughs> Go sit in the sauna. The spa rejuvenate. Rejuvenate because you're, you're stressed. And Virgos tend to overthink things, overanalyze, I should say. And, you know, maybe you've just been working hard on some financial stuff. And Sunday, you just need a break. Sunday's like, you know what? That's my... You know, maybe you go to church or maybe you just go out in nature. You just like to get rid of all your anxieties and your stress. Sunday, if you're going to do it, Sunday's the day, right? Blocking everybody out, blocking everyone, not communicating, just doing your own thing. <clears throat> day of transformation, not letting anything in except the light, okay? Not letting anything in except the light. I just heard they gave me the word moon dance. I just heard moon dance. So I'm not sure what that means. Okay. So there you go. Look at that. This is like, when I look at this card, and this is the Virgo card, this card feels to me like, so fresh and so clean. <laughs> you remember that song? That That's your song for Sunday. So fresh and so clean. I, I don't know the words to the song. Uh, I hope it's not bad. But it, it that's what it feels like. All showered up, all shaved dressed to the nines, have a little bit of money in the bank, feeling good, got your jewelry on, got your nice clothes, out in nature. Somebody's name might be Holly. Uh, or somebody really likes grapes, got any grapes. So it's just kind of like fresh. I feel fresh, like it's refreshing transformation a refreshing of your mental state a refreshing of your health a refreshing of your like you you hit the refresh button <laughs> some of you keep hitting that refresh button and you need to stop if you keep refreshing you know what i'm saying like take take the day off take the day off ergo sunday especially so if you're on the computer the hell off that computer go out into the i don't care if it's raining Go splash in some puddles. I don't care if it's snow. Go make some snow angels. Whatever. Get out there. If it's too hot, that's fine. Go out. Just sit in the sun for like two minutes. Whatever you can take. Whatever you can bear. Or stay in the house and like, I don't know, do some cleaning. Catch up on those chores. Refresh. So fresh and so clean. That's what it feels like. Transformation. Yeah, starting over. And Sunday comes as the beginning of the week, right? So Sunday you get this opportunity to start the week off right. Set the tone for the week by what you begin on the on for me, the first day is always on Sunday, right? So set the tone for the week by what you do on Sunday. Figure out how you want that to go. What does that look like for you? That just feels like the overall message. Look at my cards all over the table, right? I need to get fresh and clean here and organized. So let's get some messages of love and see what else is showing up for you. Oh, beautiful. You've got friendship. Well, there's a friendship that's leading to more. So some of you, I guess you need to know that. You've got a friendship with someone and it's going to lead to a romantic partnership over this weekend. You also have protected. You are safe and divinely guided. I hope you guys like my thumbnails. Part of our creator land um, on YouTube here is we, we get like classes. <laughs> They never used to do that. When I first started doing my YouTube stuff, I don't remember ever seeing that, but you can join like these classes now and they give you tips and tricks. And one of them was like, make great thumbnails. I was like, yeah, I'm going to try that. So I hope that they're, I don't know if they're doing any, because I feel like the quality of your, I don't care how good your thumbnail is. You can have the best thumbnails in the world, but if the quality of your content sucks, <laughs> people aren't going to come back. And it's kind of the same w w with your, yourself. You look good on the outside, but if the inside sucks, nobody's going to come back, right? So you kind of have to have both, I think. But 
acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So you come to this place as well over your, over the weekend. It's like, eh, <laughs> which is good. Everyone's like, eh, it is what it is, right? Whatever will be, will be. It's my life. It's now or never. I got so much Bon Jovi going on in my head this week. I don't know what's going on with Bon Jovi. I don't know if something's going on with him. But all week, I have just been these Bon Jovi songs just popping up into my head. And listen, I don't, I stopped listening to Bon Jovi in like the 90s, honestly. I loved him in the beginning when he started in the early 80s. And I think when he, like, that cowboy, I'm, no, not that song. I forget. He did some song for a movie or something. And then, and then like, after the 90s, I don't know, I guess I got out of the metal scene and I got into like Nirvana and, uh, Pearl Jam and all that, but I st I haven't listened. But now, like, it's all this Bon Jovi stuff keeps coming up. All these songs. So, gosh, I hope nothing horrible. I hope it's nothing horrible. Maybe it's his birthday coming up. Who knows? Okay. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Like, Virgo, abundance mindset. Starting the week. Get out of that abundance mindset. What's that look like? Abundance mindset looks like, hey, you know what? I don't want or need or desire for anything. I already have it. That's an abundance mindset. And that's like making a gratitude list. Instead of looking and making a list, like a freaking Santa list, like, oh, I want this under the chin, I want that. No, look, write what you have that you already have that's amazing and wonderful. And for, for everybody, it's different. You know, for somebody who is going out on their own and they get their first new place, that's treasure gold for them. You know, for someone that has everything financially, materially, they have a, a beautiful connection with someone that surpasses all the, the riches and the gold in the world. That's a treasure gold for them. You know, so what is your gratitude list look like? Where's your abundance? Focus on that instead of that, you know, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. And I would like to have that. That's just, a, that's not a, that's not an abundant mindset. That's a, that's a poverty mindset. Don't be in poverty mindset this week going forward. So start your Sunday. Make a list of all the wonderful things you are and are, and have uh, in your world, in your life, or within you. And focus on those things. And be grateful for those things. Like if you're not, because you're so trapped in your, I, got, I don't have this and I don't have that and I want this. You know, like a lot of people want that relationship. Everybody wants that love, you know. Love is created. It's not, and sometimes it's a gift that comes to us, but it, it's it's a cre it's something we create. It's something we cultivate. You know, and love is a verb, and it's something that the actions that we take, not only towards ourselves but towards other people. So where is the abundance? And if you don't feel like you have any abundance, or you're not feeling too grateful for where you are in your life or the things that you have, start creating something abundant. Okay, balance. One person giving too much in a relationship. That might be an issue that you take a look at this week going forward. Over the weekend, but going forward. You might be like, you know, I'm giving way too much. And I'm depleting myself of my abundance. I need to start letting that flow back to me. Okay? So that might be something you look at this weekend. Maybe you're already looking at it now. Oh, this keeps popping out. Um, I saw it and then I put it back and I shuffled and there it is again. Past life love. And that was there yesterday. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So there's a past life love that you could be thinking about over this weekend. Maybe there was something beautiful about that connection. Uh, maybe you guys are just mutuals and everything's cool, right? Whatever the situation with a past life, maybe there was some abundance that you overlooked or something that you need to just kind of think about and be like, you know what? My soul remembers this person, this connection that we had. And I'm so grateful that I had this connection with this particular person. And I'm just going to cherish that. I'm just going to suck on that for a while and cherish the amazing connection. You know, not everybody gets to have that with, with people. You know, there's a lot of lonely people in this world. And to be able to cherish a past life connection, past life love connection with someone... I mean, that's gorgeous. I just feel like that's gorgeous. I love that. All right, I'm just going to throw a charm out here. Well, you know what? No, I'll just give you some. I'll give you some scrabbles. 
All right, somebody's birthday is August 29th. We have the letter R, we have the letter H. Um, human resources, hello. Two H's, HHR. What the hell is that now? Health and human resources? Okay. You got the seven, September 7th. You got the letter T. All right, August 31st, always showing up in the house. You have the letter A. Somebody's, okay, New Year's Eve. Significant for someone, was. New Year's Eve was very significant. Something to cherish, I guess, or something to remember about New Year's Eve, 2023. 2023, yeah. Um, 1958, or someone is 58. We have a C and an O. Co, Colorado. Somebody could be in Colorado. CO. Chief Officer. <clears throat> position chief officer position I just heard okay so you've got someone's 34 someone's born in 83 September 18th September 20th um oh somebody likes tacos are you eating tacos somebody might be just like you know what? I'm just eating tacos all week I don't care <laughs> taco Tuesday hello someone's name is Cato Excuse me. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, Ocala. I just heard Ocala. O C. Ocala. O C A L A. Ocala. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Ocala. I just heard Henderson. Okay, Henderson. That's strange. So we've got September second. We have the letter R again. Um. Uh, somebody's taking a train somewhere, taking a train trip, maybe. 1989. Yeah, someone's going on a someone's going on a train. Maybe you're on a train right now. I don't know. Could you be subway or on a train right now listening to this? I don't know. You must have great Wi-Fi. Let me see. Do they have Wi-Fi on trains? Someone's born in 67. Someone's 38. Someone's 53. Um, and we have the letter E. Corey. I just heard Corey. Okay, month of July, we have the letter I. Someone's name starts with an I. 43 to 45, could be an age. Wow, we went through all those already. And 1978. All right, let's get a couple of signs. I wanna see, I'm gonna ask who the person is coming in with this love offer for you, this proposal. You know, I used to have four of, of these. I don't know where the other one went, but that's okay. All right, we've got Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo. Virgo, Capricorn, and Scorpio. And Taurus, Cancer, and Virgo. That's Virgo th three times? Is that Virgo three times? Wow, okay. You're either loving yourself, or you have another Virgo popping in. Let's get a charm. Wow, are you kidding? You guys, this is the second time. Now, yesterday was the same, but just a different one. You've got a bat. Now, this is a vampire bat, I guess that's what they call them. But yeah, another bat. So, same as yesterday. If you didn't listen to that message, this this reading might be tied into that message as well. But I do, I did kind of feel like, like that at the start. But bat, um, oh, bat, is that a town? Or a city, bat, a, a city or a town, that's, or maybe a country that starts with B-A-T, they just said, bat, I don't know, I, I, I just don't know, um, sonar, they're giving me the word sonar, connecting to this, this bat looks like he's got seriously like Beats headphones on, maybe you have Beats headphones on, <laughs> you're listening to this? Or buds or just headphones in general it doesn't have to be beads um, listening to this with headphones on let me not get too loud <laughs> and I'm also hearing um, they're giving me the word transparency so transparency something about transparency here um, you could be wearing maybe some some type of clothing that ha that's transparent a little bit or like maybe see-through hey do your thing um, And they're also giving me um, 
the web, something about the internet. There's a connection on the internet for someone, perhaps. An internet connection, love connection, whatever it might be. Kind of cool. All right, we're going to leave that there. I know I didn't pull any Chinese signs, but I will tell you I have the rat here. So you might be the year of the rat or connecting with someone who's the year of the rat. We'll leave that there. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed these uh, messages. Do click subscribe. Um, if you enjoy my channel, I would greatly appreciate that. If you want to put a like on the video, that's awesome too. But even more awesome is you can become a member of my channel. Just click the join button. I'll try to put it in the... Um, in the chat when um, the video premieres live so that you'll just be able to just click it right there. You won't have to go searching for it. I don't know where it's at, the join button, <laughs> because I can't see my channel from a customer point of view. So um, I think it's under this video here, the live somewhere. But anyway, join $2.99 per month and you'll get really cool emojis. You'll get shout outs. <clears throat> you will get um, a, a sweet little badge. And if you were a member before, you can rejoin and you can get um, your status will stay the same. That would be super awesome for those of you who have put in the effort. And uh, yeah, personal reading link is description box below. Have a great weekend, Virgo. Love you. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.